Hey, this is Michael with a couple of Munchkin CCG booster packs from a couple of the little uh, starter sets. These little starter sets that have the different, um, the two different factions. I have a couple of those and I wanted to go and open those on camera just so we can all share this moment together of opening some Munchkin boosters before the boxes come out in beginning of March. So I just want to open them in front of you and we can talk about them. So yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, I have one. I've noticed a lot of people have been trouble opening these up. So, oh, yep, I am too. This is always this is a bad sign to get that one corner. All right. All right, there we go. Not too bad. All right. What do we got? Got Starstruck. Let's get him Starstruck from the... Got Starstruck from the Bard class. Very cool. Moose! Moose with a little bird on top. I like the bird here. Yeah. Rocking bird. Get yourself a squirrel. You know, okay. I'm also going to separate just because it's the, um, just the sorting part of me. I, like, separate them into colors. Just look. TNT. We've got, when this is squished, remove it from the game. Uh, survivor, squish this. So, kind of a one for three. Kind of good little con right there. So, I'm going to put that up there. Oh, don't bump the camera. Uh, discount cudgel. Okay, that comes kind of pre, uh, pre with the, uh, sets for the warrior. Uh, when this deals damage, roll die. One to two, squish this at the end of fight. Uh, three to six, the die roll has no effect. So this could be uh, sacrifice. This could be squished or not. So that's pretty cool. We got Trollolo. Trollolo, cancel target mischief card, which is that's pretty good. Facing the right kind of deck, and that goes in the bard combo rat. This is a pretty decent one. Um, this is a neutral one if it survives. Which is, if it survives a fight, uh, stick this on Defender Hero card. The hero has Bleeding 1, which takes 1 damage, stuck to the hero during the Reckoning step. Uh, I played the uh, Thief deck, which had a lot of Bleeding cards during the pre-release, and that's a very powerful effect, it's Bleeding. So this is a card I'm really looking forward to playing with. Gobble Uh This has Smack. Zap this during your turn to deal 1 damage to target hero or target Smack. Or target Stashed Monster, which is pretty good. Like, if you're not using this, you can tap it. So cool. Nice little weapon. Jam session from the bard. A lot of bard cards. Okay, uh, stick this to a target weapon uh, if your opponent's horde. Uh, opponent, that opponent now controls this card. So this card right here. Uh, when the weapon is zapped, target opponent must draw one. Okay, so maybe like a spill type of thing where you're drawing a bunch of cards. So yeah, cool stuff. Um... Bow of Cold Shots, uh, which is Zap, deal one damage to target stash monster. Cool. So you can go over that. We have another Bard, the Earworm. So Earworm. Uh, oh yeah, saying the name of this card out loud, if you, if your opponent sings the name of this card back to you, you each draw a card. If your opponent does not, each of you spill one. So that's actually pretty interesting that you sing it, you have to sing it, however you want to sing Earworm. Sounds good. Ah, oh, very cool. All right, the Bodacious. This is a very rare. The last one we had was an uncommon. Also, Bow of Called Shots was an uncommon. I, I have not been calling them out. Everything else, I believe, has been a common. But this is a very, uh, very uncommon or very rare, which is a Bodacious Offensive. Uh, stick this on target hero card. Increase the uh, gold cost of mon heroes monsters by one, which is a pretty cool. Uh, I'll show my last one. I just had camera issues. So, um, the final countdown, which says stick this to target hero card. That target hero takes one damage each time to the hero card, which is interesting because then you can put that up a jam session um, targeting a weapon, and then they zap it. They have to draw a card, take a damage. So that's actually very powerful. Very powerful indeed. All right, we have one more booster. Let's do this. All right, like, can we, let's, let's try it this way because I was opening it up. Let me try opening up from the back. Uh, slow and patient. Yeah, that's better. Yeah! Alright, that's the trick from the back. Alright, looking at the back of the cards. Alright. Alright, we've got tr Toll Dragons. Oh, that's pretty de This is a pretty decent one. This is a really good card because four. I've read this card. Four for six. Four for six, four. Um, when checking for cheating, Defender may pay any amount of gold in. To the stockpile for each gold reduce it by two so they have to spend a lot of gold but then you know that could be a really cool effect i think that'd be a very cool effect or they could just take six 
99 bottles. I absolutely like this one. I'm happy that I got a third one now. Because you get two with the uh, starter set, and now this will be a third one. And when you do construct it, you can have three of each kind of card. So, yeah, cool. You need a lot of bard, goodness gracious. Book whip. Bullwhip is a loot weapon. Uh, oh, it has monsters too. So this is a weapon, so you can have it on the field as a weapon, or it monsters. So it becomes a two, two for two, uh, a two, two for two. So it's a two power and toughness for payment two as a monster. It's not considered cheating. So that's a pretty cool. All right, danger zone. Cool. Uh, when this comes to play, zapped. Uh, when a hero plays a mischief card with cost of two or more, that hero takes one. So if you play big stuff or your opponent plays big stuff. Very expensive stuff. You get one back. Cool. Whacked. Hey, my first uh, first thief card. Oh, whacked. Target hero discards one card at random. That's actually a pretty awesome effect, like, early on. Just as, like, an early on game trigger. Just discard a card. You thought you had a card. Now you don't. Doge. Prevent all damage. Target haired monster for this fight. Just prevent damage. It's great. Hey, and also our first cleric card. Holy Roller. Holy Roller says... Is a loot weapon four for a three three. If damage, if this damages a hired monster, collect one. So put a token, so place on this card. It gains one for each token. Oh, that's not bad. Very cool. <gasps> Whoa, we got an X. Um, we got the old step fashion gazebo. Uh, I don't know everything about this, but this is when Munchkin first came out. This was the old art style of it, and so we got an X gazebo, X rarity gazebo. That's actually pretty cool. Cool stuff. All right. Gazebo. Oh, Explodey's Middle Finger. I was hoping to get some of these. I'm looking forward to... I'll be doing a deck tech video soon about doing an Explodia deck. Um, Explodey's Middle Finger. Uh, target opponent must choose... Must choose to either take two damage or discard one card. So that's really actually very powerful and much pretty cool you, that they can choose that. But yeah. Ooh, look at Cowardly Canyon. This comes into play zapped. When a hero runs away, the attacker takes one. Cool. That sounds pretty cool. Alright. Staff of Serious Business. A 3 3 for 3. It's very straightforward, but still really good. And so those were our uncommons. Our rare is the pain train. Toot toot. Uh, this gains 2 power for each gold you overpaid to hire this. If you overpaid this, squish this at the end of the fight. So. Very cool. Well, that is some. Those are the. Two booster packs. I'm super excited. Which one are you excited about? Uh, did you see a card that you like? Make sure you leave a comment below. And I uh, will be putting up some more videos later. So I will see you later. Bye.